Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you an arrow cannon. Now we are going to use the same mechanics as we used in the TNT cannon in my last video. So what you want to do is pretty much literally the exact same thing as you'd start off doing the TNT cannon. Build up high, you know, set up the cobblestone, three in length, build up a little right here. Grab your redstone torches, put three there, and you know that random one right there. Grab your dust, and put it on the back, like so. Now you set up your timer, like you did with the TNT cannon. But here's where things are going to get slightly different. Now, uh, let's kind of be, let's decorate a little. No, kind of build around. Maybe give it a nice little floor, you know, be fancy with it if you want. Why not? Unless you're in like a Minecraft war, then you might want to hurry your butt up because your teammates are going to be raging at you. And yeah. Anyways, build like so. And maybe put some more flooring. Go crazy. Okay, we set that part up like we did with the TNT cannon. So we are just about done there. But wait, what if we want more power? What if we want more arrows raining from the sky? As you can see, I have a horribly square target there. We are going to try and aim for that. Eh, we might be a little off, but we are going to try and aim the best we can for that. So, you grab your more dispensers, you know, build more. Lots of building blocks. And these things aren't going to like me again. Yeah, these things just don't like me. Oh crap. Don't fall off. I don't think that'd be great. I guess for the time being, just build up if it doesn't want to cooperate. And... Is three good enough? I think not. I think we want to go one more up. Am I insane? Quite possibly. But why not? It's fun. Plus, more power equals more blood, death, and winning if you are doing a battle thing because then this is definitely the thing you want to be doing and uh, again just kind of build if it doesn't want to cooperate with you I know it won't still doesn't but it's better okay four dispensers locked well it they're locked but not yet loaded we are not completed yet. We got this all done. We got the timer set up. Now, let's set up the redstone. This is why it's different because one, we didn't put water down. It's just an open hole like so. Actually, we can, uh, we can do this. That, I guess, could just help. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can just, like, kind of... OCD. Do this. Fancy-like. Actually, yeah, that kind of looks cool, but... Keep it, like... Uh, my OCD, I don't know... Oh, my God. Wait, wait, the, you know what? That, that's fine. This... This looks great. You are just about ready to fire. But wait! You need ammo. And a lot of it. And so do I. Arrow. Oh wait, I'm in creative. I can just do this! Haha! -ha, I'm smart. And I'm gonna pause and come back once these are all loaded. Alright, we are back, and all the dispensers are filled with at least one stack 
of arrows. So we're all set up. Everything's good. Now for the final step, connecting the redstone. Now, you know, that's a simple process, obviously. Put the redstone down right on the dispensers. And then, connect! Oh yeah, we were a little off. But, as you can see, arrows of hell are raining from the sky. And then they run out. But now you get the point. You can possibly win some Minecraft warfare thing with this simple little cannon. And then your enemies could possibly collect all these arrows, so I guess use it wisely. Because it could turn on you in the end. Jesus, that's a, that's a lot of arrows. That'd be awesome to have all them. Like in the Hunger Games. But there is one more thing. What if you want fire arrows? That's right. Fire arrows. Like in The Legend of Zelda. Now, that is a very simple process. You need lava. I mean, come on, people. You need lava. Lava, fire, something along those lines. So, we are going... We're gonna do lava. Let's grab that lava. Now that we got- oh, I put my redstone away. Crap! Okay, now that I got my redstone back, we're going to need a lot of lava. And I mean a lot- well, yeah. If you're in survival, you're gonna need a lot of lava. And let's build this kinda high. Make sure all the arrows turn the fire. I don't know why I'm doing that. You know, I'm just drunk. Not really. Don't drink, kids. Okay, now that we got... Is this... Oh my god, that's off-center. One more over. Okay, now that we got this set up, you just... do a lava fall. Like so. Although this might be a bit too th thick. Although that might have just made it worse. Uh, this is not going well. Wow. Huh. I may have to fix this, because I think it is too thick. I should possibly use glass. We'll find out. I'm gonna pause. So be right back. Okay, so all the dispensers are refilled, like so. And turns out I don't need, this is just works perfectly. It's fine, it's not too thick or anything, it's perfect. And, you know, once it's refilled, you know what you gotta do. And then, reconnect. And then boom! Your opponent's on fire! Oop. Damn. I wanted to get, like, a creeper egg. Holy crap, that's a lot of fire. Can I... Oh, I can collect them all. <laughs> and that's about it. You can use regular fire, too, for fire arrows. Lava works just great, as long as you don't fall in it. And that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, or at least educated. Click that like button, subscribe, comment if you want, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!